All the links and a transcript will be down below in the description. To use Lightmatica in game, you will need three different files. First, you will need the fabric loader. On this website, you click download for Windows. After that, you can just double click on the file that you downloaded. Up here, you can select the Minecraft version that you want to install it for and then just hit install. After that, you can just close the window and you're done. After installing Fabric Loader, you will need Lightmatica, the mod itself. Click on the link down in the description, then look for the version that you just installed Fabric Loader for. For me, it will be 1.18.1 and just hit download file. Lightmatica will also need the Malilib library, same as just before. Click on the link, look for the version that you want to install and click download file. In your downloads folder, you should now have two files, Malilib Fabric and Lightmatica Fabric. If you open up the Minecraft launcher, you should now have the option to select a fabric loader installation. It should be fabric loader and the version that you want to use. If that doesn't show up, go to installation, find new installation and look for it here and then hit create. And that should create you this installation. You can then choose over here. If you have just installed the fabric loader, you have to start the game once to create all the necessary folders. To access the Minecraft folder, if you do not know that yet, you have to open an explorer type in percent app data percent and hit enter. Here you will have a Minecraft folder that starts with a dot. Just click on it. And here will, you will have a folder that's called mods. If you do not have that folder there, just create it yourself. Right click, click new and create folder. Open the mods folder, get your two downloaded links and just drag them in, copy them in and that should get you set. Once Minecraft has launched, you can hop into any world. This will work in single player and also in multiplayer. I am now on a multiplayer server on my own LEGO World SMP server. If you have Lightmatica installed correctly, you will see a menu pop up if you hit the M key on your keyboard. This is Lightmatica main menu. The stick is the default tool. You can change that in the settings as well. Every time you have a stick or your main tool in your hand, down on the left hand corner, you will also have a menu and very important is the mode that you are in. You can change this mode by hitting control and holding it down and scrolling on your mouse. To start off, we will need mode number one, the area selection tool to create our own schematic. In the main menu, when you hit M key, you have two different area selection modes. First off, stick with the simple mode. There's also the normal mode. For now, we'll just keep it plain and simple. Now you can fly around to whatever object you want to make a schematic of. Hit left or right. I'm just going to start with the right key. This will be your one edge of your schematic. And you can fly over and hit the other mouse key which is the right key for me, which is also a blue and a red box for left and right. And here you will have the outline of the area that you selected. And to make a, your own schematic of this, you will need to open your menu again, hit the M key, go to area editor and hit save schematic. Here you can name the selection to whatever you want. As you see, I've already have a lot of test pasting here. I'm just going to call this test paste number four. You can also choose to ignore entities, save schematic and just go out. Now, if you want to use the schematic in your world, you just go anywhere where you want to open your Lightmatica main menu with the M key again, go up here to load schematics and look for the schematic that you just created. For us, it was test paste four and down on the bottom left, hit the load schematic. And there we go. We have our schematic of the building that we just made a schematic of. So this is still the area selection here. As you can see, if I click around, I can choose the area selection. 
So to move the new schematic placement, you have to hold down control and go into a different mode. This will be the mode schematic placement. That's mode two. Just use your scroll wheel until you're there. And now I can just go around and left or right click and move the schematic where I want to. You can also hold down the Alt key and use your scroll wheel to move the schematic in the direction you're facing. Once you're satisfied with where you want the schematic to be, you can open menu with M again, go to schematic placements, hit configure, and here you can also change the placement origin where you want the schematic to be. And you can also lock it. If you lock it and go out, you will no longer be able to move it around. Now to start building, I can see what kind of block it is on the top right of my screen. It's orange concrete. Wherever I am in the world, just build up. And I can start building. Now this might be a bit complicated to see where you are. Therefore, we have different render layers that we can use. You can open up the main menu, go to the configuration menu, go all the way to the right render layers. And here you can set different types, however you want all above. You can render all of them single layer. I usually have it to all below. If I lower this, you can see that the layers that are rendered will go down to the layer you are on. And now if I go back, I can see a lot easier where I am. If I place it wrong, you will see a red outline around the block. Then you know this block is a wrong block. There's another wrong one. And if I'm done with this layer, I can now, instead of going into the menu, I can press page up and page down to change the rendered layer. Page up on my keyboard. And now I have two more layers that I can see now. Lightmatica also has an easy build mode. To access this, you have to open the main menu. Go to configuration menu, go to hotkeys, type in easy. And this is a hotkey that you will have to assign. If I press my key now, my selected key, it will say easy place mode on. Now I can just hold down my right mouse button and it will instantly just select and build the block in the correct spot wherever I am. If I Press page up a few more times. I have more layers. I can just hold down my right mouse button. I can't do build anything over here, but if I go up, it will automatically build and it can also build up in the air without any blocks attached to it. This is a lot easier. This also works in survival mode. This is not a creative exclusive feature. If you want to paste a schematic inside without building it yourself. In creative, you can do that if you have creative mode on. To paste a schematic on a multiplayer server, you will need to change a few settings. Open your menu with M again, go to configuration menu and go to generic, search paste use fill command and set that to false. Search command task interval, make sure this is set to one it's by default one and also search command limit per tick and set that to 15. You will also want to search paste ignore entities and set that to true. And to execute any paste command, you will have to go to hotkeys, search for execute operation and set that to any hotkey of your choosing. And when you go out, you will need your stick to paste it. Now you will need another mode. Hold down control, scroll wheel until you hit mode five, paste schematic in world. Now all you have to do, execute operation. Use that hotkey. And voila, here's your schematic placed.